In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, one God. Amen. Hello, I'm Father Paul, and this is the good news. Christ is risen. Truly, he is risen. Let the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be acceptable in your sight, O Lord, my strength and my Redeemer. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Luke, chapter 24, verses 1 through to 12. Now on the first day of the week, very early in the morning, they and a certain other women went with them and came to the tomb, bringing the spices which they had prepared. But they found the stone rolled away from the tomb. Then they went in and did not find the body of the Lord Jesus. And it happened, as they were greatly perplexed about this, that, behold, two men stood by them in shining garments. Then, as they were afraid and bowed their faces to the earth, they said to them, Why do you seek the living among the dead? He is not here. He is risen. Remember how he spoke to you when he was still in Galilee, saying the Son of Man must be delivered into the hands of sinful men and be crucified, and the third day rise again. And they remembered his words, and they returned from the tomb and told all these things to the eleven and to all the rest. It was Mary Magdalene, Joanna, Mary the mother of James, and the other women with them. He told these who told these things to the apostles. And their words seemed to be like idle tales. And they did not believe them. But Peter arose and ran to the tomb and stooping down he saw the linen cloths lying by themselves. And he departed, marvelling to himself at what had happened. Glory to you, O God. Come, Holy Spirit, fill our hearts with your love. Help us in the understanding of your words. Help us to be true and faithful servants of yours. He departed from there, marvelling to himself at what had happened. Jesus. Jesus had risen from the dead. The tomb was empty. Marveled. Then, of course, the words that Jesus spoke to them while in Galilee started to come back to them. In this St. Luke's Gospel, we read another variation of that great resurrection day. How Mary Magdalene, Joanna, Mary the mother of James, and the other women went with them, with them, came to the tomb and found it empty. And they then returned to tell the apostles what had happened. Their words seem, I, to, seem to them like idle tales. These women saying Jesus had risen from the dead. But they, and they did not believe them. Peter, Peter went to the tomb himself to see for himself and what he saw when he stooped down and looked into the tomb. He saw the linen cloths lying by themselves and then he departed from there, marvelling to himself at what had happened. On this bright Wednesday, 
when we are celebrating the resurrection of Christ. Think about it. Think about what Peter saw. How the resurrection of Christ had happened as was told to them by Jesus. Jesus told them that they, he must die but on the third day he will rise. So on this day contemplate once again the glorious resurrection of our Saviour Jesus Christ. Give him thanks, give him praise and honour. Glory to you, O God, and may the blessing of Almighty God, the Father, the Son and of the Holy Spirit be upon you and remain with you always. Amen. 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 Most holy Theotokos, save us. Amen. Christ is risen. Truly, he is risen.